Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and welcome to another episode of my Gems of War Let's Play. Today I will be beating Shegra again to unlock the Warlord class. I'll be showing some things with Hero, and I'll be doing some of the first PvP matches on this account. So let's get into uh, defeating Shegra again. Uh, there are some kingdoms that have a uh, class that you can unlock at the end of it, and this is the final battle for the one for uh, Broken Spire, so let's get into that. And it happens to be, once again, another Shagra. <laughs> this will be a little bit harder than the first one. But luckily, uh, all the reds are being blocked and all the brown is being blocked. So Shagra shouldn't be too big a deal. I'm running right now with the Crude Club. Um, Mist Stalker that I got up to level 5 is really good because it does true damage, it does poison. Plus it gains a little bit whenever it kills anyone. You know, uh, in the early game, it's really good to have a troop that, um, uh, just one troop on your team, that gains something when it kills someone. That way uh, you can have someone who can keep picking off and just keep getting stronger. Because a lot of these uh, kill-on bonuses are really high, especially in the early game. Uh, Wolf Knight, of course, we have here with his extremely high extra damage. He also does true damage, so it goes really well with Miss Stalker. It doesn't even block any mana. And here I got the really lucky uh, Rowani drop, which you can get from the Forest of Florence uh, questline. But I, of course, got it from a random uh, glory key drop. And that does a lot of damage because of a boost ratio of two times. When you're trying to figure out um, troops to put into your team in the early game, you'll want to always try to cover all the colors and try finding things that have, like, really high bonuses, like these, like the kill on death. Uh, this one that's, uh, like, twice as much as his uh, base attack. And uh, things but that has like two times ratio, like Lance Knight, um, Rowani, and other things like that. Let's get into the battle and see how it goes. <coughs> Let's see here. I think they're like a lot higher. Yeah, level 10, level 10. I think they're all level 10 here. Yeah. And I think my highest is like 7. They're 8. Six and five, so they are out leveling us right now. That shouldn't be too big a deal. Just trying to get all the manas up and then see what we can focus from there. Rani should be able to do a lot of damage, and we got really lucky right there, so that works. Uh, I guess I'll cast this. Just looking around, I don't see anything. Does a lot of damage, five damage, plus he just gets that poison. 50% chance to do one true damage per turn. So that's quite a bit there. We got lucky here with this too. This match is already going really well. Uh, I think I'll take these blue to fill up Ronnie. We got that. And her damage output, I believe, let's see, five and then twice that. So 14 plus five, that's 19 damage total that she'll do. I think I'm going to go for Wolf Knight first. Off these yellows. Yep, we got that right there. I think I'll take it. Let's see, yeah. Uh, we got that down. Now we can use that to kill that. Poison's about to kill him really soon. So right before I can even cast, we just did 9 damage to him. We only needed to do 7. Poison will kill him really soon. I'll wait to cast that until he's dead because he's has a lot of armor and he's just going to be blocking my attack if I try to do anything. We have that banner set to um, yellow and red, so we get a extra yellow there, so he only takes two yellow matches. And of course red, we get that up in one match. Poison just killed the goblin, or whatever was there, I got you for it sounded like a goblin. Uh, we'll take these browns, just for the skull, it's not going to fill him up though, one short. Now he has his ability up. Um, I think I'm going to use Rwani to try to see if it can kill it. It might not. Nope. Now he's going to get that. It's going to make a bunch of greens, but that's not too big a deal. He doesn't have any greens left. But this match is pretty much won. Just need to wait till it goes through the motions. I doubt Chegro will get off a cast. Even if it does, it shouldn't really do too much. Oh, we already almost got her back up. That's really nice. Um, take that. Got Miss Stalker up too. Take the skulls. And this match is pretty much already done. All we need to do is this Castle Rani at this point. 
And that is it. We didn't even lose a single troop this time. Oh yeah, uh, something else I was going to go over. Um, the best manas early on would have to be green, red, and purple. They'll really help you with uh, the weapons that they give for arena. Uh, generally, you will want to split them up evenly. But until about level, getting them to level 40, you might want to focus a few down. I'll link a um, weapon list in the description from the same site that the troop list is on. It's really helpful in figuring out what weapons you might want to get early on. So I'm just going to take this purple here. Don't really need blue too much. That one blue I had was just because of the thing. Um, uh, some of the purple weapons are absolutely horrible, like to destroy one gem for six uh, purple. They haven't been rebalanced for forever, so... Just ignore the horrible weapons like that. There are really good uh, weapons uh, later in the purple line, weapon line, though. Just going through all these. And we get the Warlord class. Quite possibly the most powerful class in the game, and it definitely is the most powerful early on. And it's really nice that they give that as the first class. And here's the tutorial thing telling us to do it. You go into Hero. You go into Class. You set your class. Uh, you can change it for free. Uh, it has a one-day timer on it. They reduced it down to five, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, you never want to really pay to 50 to switch. But whenever you unlock a new class, you get a free switch, and you get a free switch every single day. So you won't really need to worry about the switching fee. And um, each class gets unlocked at a different kingdom. Like right here, this is from Forest of Thorns, Sword's Edge, Adana, um, Kedar, uh, White Helm, uh, Karakraf, and um, Magrin Woods. And hopefully another one soon in like another month or so. But yeah, we switch to this. Uh, Warlord class, you'll want to get quite a bit of your uh, leveling onto this. Because it really helps get um, your hero up and running. It, uh, it links to the red weapon. Which goes really well with Crude Club, since it's the main weapon you use in the early game. And you get a lot of stats uh, over time with it. I have no clue how high you need to get it to for plus one additional magic, but that's where I really need to get it soon. A lot of the farming I've been doing um, off-camera has mostly been in um, Cold Carry with the treasure hunt thing. I still have seven maps left. I think I've gone through about five to ten right now. I haven't even really been keeping track. But uh, something that I accidentally said last thing, uh, last video is that you need this kingdom finished to do treasure hunt. You actually just need this kingdom unlocked to do treasure hunt. It's uh, broken spire that you need to have finished to be able to do arena. Both of which I'll explain in a uh, later video. But let's go back to the hero screen. I pretty much already explained the classes because it uh, made us go there. Uh, here's the overview of the masteries. It goes over like the guild things and everything else. Uh, these mana surges. This chance just shows um, on three times matches your chance of getting a mana surge. A mana surge uh, just uh, doubles the amount of mana it is, but it doesn't uh, double the banner bonus or any kind of links like that. Like for instance, uh, I have red yellow banner active right now. If I get a, if normally if I match a three pair, it will give uh, four reds because three plus the one for the banner. If I get a mana surge off those reds, which I have a 22% chance to do. It will give uh, seven mana. This is because it doubles the three, which is how many gems were matched, and then it adds the bonus afterwards. All uh, banners and magic links in this game add it after the surge, not before. So it won't do eight. It will do seven in that instance. Uh, armor. Here's where you can switch armor. I actually haven't even put my um, gold armor on that I got the other match. I actually bought the souls one too, so I can show it for arena and stuff like that, since I do have a little bit more gems than... The average person at this point. Appearance is pretty self-explanatory. It's just completely cosmetic. And you can change whatever there. Class I already went over. And the collection just shows everything that you already have. All your uh, trait stones. And uh, things like map gold. Gems. Most of these you can already see from the screen. But just a convenient spot where you can see them all. So let's get into some uh, PvP matches. Oh and before I do. Because some of you have been asking like how I got so much so quick. It is because of being in the guild. It is really important that you get into a guild early on. Look around on the forums or just ask around in like chat channel 001. 
because guilds can really help you a lot out a lot like right now um you can see like people donating like um the leader did four hundred thousand a hundred thousand there a little bit there some people doing none but that will be expected in a lower guild and one of the main reasons why i actually have so many resources is uh tech 90 is actually in this guild or technically i have no clue how to pronounce that but um he has donated 1,750,000 this week. He's actually uh, number three on the leaderboard right now, I believe. So that's pretty ridiculous that we got him into this guild. But you can see there's a lot of zeros. You'll probably expect that from a casual guild. Um, there's actually someone in this guild that has negative trophies right now. It's not even possible to get negative trophies anymore. That's how negative he is right now. Because um, in version 2.0, which just went live uh, not too long ago... Uh, there's no negative trophies anymore. So uh, lower guilds won't have to worry about members keep losing. Or from uh, trophy sniping people. So that's really nice. But let's get into some battles now. I think I'll do two or three PvP matches right now. Just to kind of show you the early game. I think I'll go for this 15 guy. We'll scout him out. You'll want to be using scout. It is really helpful just to get an idea of what you're going to be up against. And things like that. Let's see. How high is he really out leveling me? Not too bad. Um, I think I can take on this team. It shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, you'll definitely want to get into a guild and help your guild some. Contribute some gold, get them some trophies. It really helps everyone out. Let's see here. Uh, we'll take the skulls. We're doing six damage. The warlord class that you gave us an extra attack, plus we got that extra magic now. Now we're doing five per cast. We got the extra armor and that extra HP from leveling it. So we're really well off right now. Like you can see our opponent doesn't have any class right now. Classless. So yeah. You definitely want to have a class on you. It really helps in this game. Uh, Warlord is definitely the best one when starting out. But uh, there are uh, better alternatives later in the game once you uh, start getting in. But for the most part we're going to be using Warlord. Because it's just really well with Crude Club. I think I'll take this. Got that. Yeah, this match actually shouldn't be too big a deal. He's using uh, three different green troops. So he's blocking a lot, quite a bit of his mana. Plus as the yellow up front. He should be using a different weapon right there. Like, let's see. You're covering... Um, one, two, three, four. You're covering four different colors right here. So you should have a different color right there. Oh, is that five? Am I that bad at counting? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? That. It'll take the skulls, but it doesn't matter too much. That's not damaged yet, so I'm going to want to have to wait before I do that. Um, I'll take these reds right here. That's another really good thing about having Crude Club, is it only uses four mana. So it doesn't really block anything else that's using red. So we just got that filled up right there. Even though we already had a uh, troop using red up front. And it just took browns. It doesn't use it, so that's good for us. Oh, it is four. Okay. <laughs> that was bothering me. Uh, let's see. This will actually kill that one. And we get the extra three magic because we did. Take this, get the skulls. Now we can kill that with um, anything we have here. I think I'll use the crude club. But yeah, with these armors, um, I didn't really explain it too much, but I... The gold armor is used mainly if you want to do things like PvP. The soul armor would be used if you mostly want to do things like arena and stuff like that. I'll explain arena more in later Matt, in later episodes. But arena is basically an even playing field, unlike PvP, where it's impossible to be pay to win. Everyone's on a level playing field, and it's uh, really good for practicing and stuff like that. As well as farming souls, which is why uh, soul armors are better in uh, arena. Let's see here. Um, how much I can match? I'm actually going to waste this ability real quick. Just use it on that. That way if we get that back up, it'll be able to get even more magic. Take that. Ronnie might pick that up. Nope, no surge. Your surge chance will be pretty uh, low in early game, but it starts getting higher once your guild starts to improve and you start to gain some levels. Let's see. 
yeah, let's get Ronnie back up. I, actually, I might be able to kill them right now. I didn't add up. No, it'd be slightly short, but we'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, too short. But still, that is some ridiculous damage right there. Get the Crude Club up, he'll take the Skulls, and then we just won. So that was our first PvP match, not too bad. Let's get into another one. See what we have. Uh, level 22 here, scout it out. Uh, let's see. Looks fairly easy, has the Tyree, that's a really important uh, troop in the early game that we'll be getting sooner or later. Probably a couple episodes from now. She's used for uh, map farming. She has a 20% chance every single time she casts to get a map, which will be really helpful in doing treasure maps. Right now, I've just been cycling my uh, glory through treasure maps. Plus, I got some from the guild. So let's get into this then. What is the level difference between us? 22 and 13. Level difference doesn't make too much of a difference when it's this low. You'll start to see some really huge gaps later on, though. Let's take this yellow. I should probably be trying to get Mist Stalker up. That poison or that um, true damage kill can really be useful. Like, it would kill that goblin instantly if I get it up. Right now, I'll just ship down the hero. He doesn't really have too much that will be... A nuisance to me, so that's good. Hero might die before it gets a single cast off. Take the yellow. We can kill Hero with that. And I'm right. <laughs> it's gonna die before it gets a single cast. Oh. I'll let it take the skulls. Because now it doesn't have anything to use those browns on. And then I can use it to fill up that. Um, I would want to take browns right now. Because it's about to cast something that destroys a row and then spawns a bunch of browns. But there's no way I can take browns right now, so I'm just going to do another move. Uh, I guess those screens are fine. It's probably going to get an extra turn off the browns, but luckily it doesn't use them. So it's not too big a deal. Just took that. Uh, we can get an extra turn right there. You can see going down, so we get that. None of them are injured, so we can't kill anyone. Uh, but we can take these skulls, which will take out his armor. Got that sneak. A really good troop. Uh, I guess we start on Rwani now. This will be really soon before we get them in one-shot range. Oh, but he did hit the uh, Rwani, which that five damage just took off ten of our damage. So she is really good, but once she starts getting damaged, she loses basically all of her uh, attack potential. Uh, let's see, I don't need brown. There seems to be everything on this board right now, so I guess I kind of have to. We'll take those reds. And I'll take these yellows and that skull. Not that I need the yellows, but I want the skull. Get these purple. He got his ability upper again, but that won't matter. We got skulls, and he's out. Take the purple. Actually, let's take the green. That's actually... Oh, never mind. He took damage. That won't be enough to kill them. It's only at, um, let's see, four... Nine damage right now. So we need a little bit more than that. Um, let's see. I can't get Crude Club up. So I might as well use this and see if I can get Goblin damaged enough to be able to kill it with the other one. No, I didn't, but uh, we can kill Tyree instead. I'll be taking this. Uh, nothing on the board. Go out with Tyree. Ah. And then that just leaves Goblin with these skulls, and that is it. And uh, PvP gives a lot of um, gold. Like you saw right there, I, I clicked a little bit quick. But I got a thousand gold from that match, thanks to the 50% boost on this armor. 
But yeah, like I said, you definitely want to get into a guild and uh, help them out so they can help you out. Because uh, all guild tasks give the reward to every single person in the guild. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, I hate giving a weird amount like that. <laughs> let's see, I'll just help with the map task because I'm going to need more maps later. So once this task gets completed... It'll give everyone two maps, same as this. It'll give everyone 100 souls. And this one will give everyone 10 gems. And uh, tokens currently are used to give uh, more mana bonuses. They will have uh, more additional purposes in the future. But currently, they just give mana bonuses. But anyways, that will do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.